Hello everyone, welcome back to November on the Cozy Chair. What did you think about Bill Lepp's story? Did you like it? Oh, I love listening to him tell his story. And if you know any authors, or if you are an author, I would love to hear from you. Please email me at thecozychairclub at gmail.com and let me know if you would be interested in reading a story for us. So this is our grateful tree from the smallseed.com and I have here your grateful leaves. So let's see what you are grateful for today. Summer is thankful for suckers. And McKinley is thankful for her awesome family. I'm glad you think your family is awesome. And Danny is thankful to be Wit's mom. I think that's really fun. I think it's fun to be a mom. And last of all, we have Connor. Connor is thankful for his Hot Wheels and his warm coat. Because it is getting very cold, isn't it? Well, I have a book for you. And it's not really a Thanksgiving book. But it is about friends, and I'm thankful for friends, so I wanted to read it anyway. Today I'm going to be reading this for McKenna. Hi, McKenna. I hope you like this book. This is Little Blue Truck. Have you seen this book before? I really like it. This is by Alice Shirlet, Sh Shirtle and illustrated by Jill McEl McEl Murray. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds. You've ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep, said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye. Then little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said ba and cow said moo. Oink, said a piggy and beep, said blue. That's his way of saying hello. Cluck said a chicken and her, and her chick said peep. Ma said a goat. Blue said beep. Nay, said a horse. Quack, said a duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. Honk! yelled the dump truck. Coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy-duty dump truck tires were, were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk, cried the dump, and he sounded scared, but nobody heard, or nobody cared. Remember how he wasn't caring about other people? Then, into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. How now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 cried Little Blue Truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that, beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. Why do you think they heard the blue truck and not the dump truck? I think it's because he's friendly. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck, and everybody pushed the Little Blue Truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed Blue who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad? Do you remember him from the very beginning? All together, one, two, three, one last push, and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said Dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on helping hands from a few good friends. Beep, said Blue. Who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, cluck, peep, nay, croak, ma. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my goodness. What happened in that story? Can you see what happened? These animals, they liked their friend Blue because he was nice. And he took time to say hello and be their friend. But when the dump truck needed help, and he honked and honked and honked. Hmm, they didn't really care, did they? But when Little Blue got stuck, they sure wanted to help him. That just shows that we need to be friendly all the time. And our friends, we help our friends, and our friends help us. Thank you so much for coming to The Cozy Chair. Make sure that you subscribe so that you hear all of my new books. 
Thanks so much for coming and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.